Good morning, guys. It's Ryan with Magnum Sports and back for another review with you all. Um, we already did a review on the bow we're going to be shooting today, the RX-7, but we'll elaborate a little bit more on our thoughts on the product as it's been in the shop for a while now. We've all had a good amount of time behind the bow. And then we're also going to do a product review on the Garmin A1i Pro. Um, and we're super excited about this particular site because it eliminates a lot of the guesswork that a lot of hunters are doing in the field. Uh, this particular optic will uh, measure distance and then go ahead and set a reticle for you using a small red dot uh, like um, sight. So we're pretty excited about that. In addition, we got a bunch of true ball products in, including the GO2 releases. So we'll talk over some of that at the end of this video as well. If there's wind noise in the video, I apologize. I'll try to, to, to be loud and, and vocal for you all, but we wanted to shoot this video outdoors as it's uh, a beautiful 82 degrees here in mid Michigan today. So stay tuned. We look forward to talking about all these products with you guys and uh, let's see how we do. Okay guys, so you've seen us shoot the RX-7 and you guys have actually seen this sight on the RX-7 that we were shooting, but we didn't do anything with the sight. Today I got the sight kind of dialed in. Um, it could use some fine tuned work, but generally speaking, um, it's, it's operational and I could go out and harvest an animal with it set up the way it is. So pinpoint accurate, probably not. Um, animal accurate, absolutely. There is a difference. So I'm not out shooting competitions with this sight. I'm more interested in the fact of harvesting animals. Um, so the A1i is a pretty, pretty awesome setup. And we'll talk about some of the features. Um, first of all, it's integrated into the Hoyt platform, as we can see here. I don't have a whole lot happening on this side of the bow, but rather right into that Picatinny rail that was provided by Hoyt. And this sight, when we fire it up and we look at the display, it gives Hoyt's beautiful name right across the top of it. So that's pretty neat. Um, it does take two AAA batteries to run this thing. A major concern for a lot of archers out there. Hey, what if my batteries die? Will they last in the winter months? So on and so forth. It has a pretty good battery life, guys. Um, and really, what is two AAA batteries being backpacked out with you with all the other stuff we're carrying in the woods today? This is not the cleanest setup, as you guys can see. This is a temporary setup. Actually, I have the trigger pad actually just rubber banded onto the bow. Um, I didn't want to do anything permanent, as this could be a customer's bow, and they may not want this sight on the bow or something like that. Um, other really cool features is the setup. Listen. I'm not a computer guy. I, I really can't honestly stand computers, but I was able to, I mean, it literally walks you through setting this thing up step by step by step, and it's not in a manual. It's right on the display screen that you guys can see right here. It tells us exactly what to do as we're doing it, um, which is really awesome. I d elected not to do the chrono. Um, I just did a 20 and a 40 and I was good to go. So there was a little bit of fine tune adjusting to get the laser to line up with the reticle quite well. Um, but again, it was something I could do by myself. I didn't need somebody else there to help me. And once it was dialed in, we were pretty happy with it. So uh, let's go ahead, fire this thing up. So I'm just gonna hit the, the key on the left-hand side and you guys can see it's displaying Hoyt's beautiful name right there. And it's ready to go. So we hit hunt and we're ready. So get my release set up, we're good there. And we'll go ahead and go to draw. And now what I can do is simply use the pins provided in this case. I'm ranging and I'm ranging at 19 yards. I thought I was close to 20, I'm good there. And that's it. So let's go see where we hit and if we're happy. So this is where we're at at 20 yards, just slinging a single arrow. Uh, usually I shoot groups of six, but we're not gonna do that today because I don't feel like tearing up a bunch of arrows. Um, and again, guys, this took me a few minutes to like put on and calibrate it just to get a good idea of how this site would perform. Let's, let's step right back to 40 yards and see how it does. All right, so we're back here at 40. We'll go ahead and take a crack at it and see uh, exactly how we do. So I'll walk you through the process. I'm gonna go ahead and go to draw. Once I'm at draw, I'm gonna go ahead and laser range find it, align in my bubbles. I'm showing 39 yards, I have a reticle. And slow press. You 
don't get two more. Well, that's a ringer. So we're happy with that. Let's go take a look. All right, guys, so here's the 40 yard. Um, sure, will it kill an animal? Absolutely, we're super pleased with that. Let's go ahead and uh, back it up to 60, what the hell? All right, guys, we're out here just screwing around at this point, but we're at 60 yards. Uh, we'll take a take a fire at it and see. I don't know, this wind's kind of, it's blowing as you, I'm sure, can hear. Draw, range, right at 60 on the mark. Let's go take a and there we are our 60 yarder so uh... okay guys so our final thoughts on the garmin a1i pro we love it um now again it's a super expensive bow sight right we're not talking about a 500 600 bow sight in which in its own nature is expensive but we're looking somewhere around the ballpark of 1300 dollars. and can you justify that i don't know um me personally i i think i'll have one by the end of the year so um, it takes a lot of the guesswork out of the game in which we play, and I don't have to bring up multiple other things to make sure I'm ranging a deer correctly, such as a rangefinder or anything like that. I'm not taking time in the morning to step things off to make sure I know my ranges on the ground. It's kind of an all-in-one unit, and just for it, it being as convenient as it is, I would say it's worth the money. Not to mention, once we got the pins actually dialed in, the thing was accurate as all get out. We had no worries with this particular bow setup and the Garmin A1i Pro. So super excited to have it in the shop here. Um, super excited to put it on my hunting rig here shortly and head out for some whitetail come this fall. The other thing we didn't talk a whole lot about is the True Ball, um, the GO2. So this little release is, I like it a lot personally. I've shot a ton of different releases. I currently use a B3. Um, that being said, it, it comes to where you guys can fit it to your hand it has a number of different ring sizes if you will um, so you guys can make sure it fits your digits just right and you guys are comfortable with it it is a pinky release just so you're aware it has nothing to do with the thumb uh, besides locking it and it's it's a hair trigger it really takes out the possibility of you anticipating your shots and sometimes you just kind of let the arrow fly um, to make a good accurate shot so and lastly the last thing i'll talk about today and I've already talked about it in the past, is the RX-7. I got an RX-7 sit, uh, sitting here that is a 60 pound bow, and this thing will do work all day. With this sight combination, this bow at 62.7 pound pull weight right now, I am good out to 82 yards. Um, the combination allows me an 82 yard shot. Will you be taking an 82 yard shot on a whitetail? Probably not, but every once in a while, you know, that one trophy deer takes step at 80 yards and that may be your only shot. So to be confident and capable is super important. As always, shoot straight, stay safe, have fun, and we look forward to seeing you guys on the range.